lost again going back around Dreaming of a time when I get things right Lost in the shadows of a million stars Shouldn't they mind my near and far Shouldn't they at all just tell me where you are Send a prayer if I'm out so hey everybody, it's Mickey, and in today's video, I'm sharing with you all of my favorite Amazon finds. These are things that I have purchased, that I have used, and I have loved. So if you are new here and you like DIY, decor, organizing, cooking, and planning videos, I hope you'll take a minute to subscribe. I put out new videos every week about all things home. Today I have 15 of my Amazon kitchen favorites. These are the things that I use and love every day. And these are the things that I get the most questions about from all of you. So all the links to every item that I mentioned today will be in the description box down below. So first up is this continuous misting bottle that I actually found in the beauty department on Amazon. I go through a lot of counter spray every day, so I've been making my own mix for years, and I just wanted a really beautiful spray bottle to keep here on my counter. Now the mix that I use is really simple. I just add a few teaspoons of Dawn dishwashing liquid, double that amount of rubbing alcohol, and then I fill the rest of the container up with hot water. I like this bottle because of that continuous light mist, so it covers a lot of territory with just one or two sprays. And I am always wiping down my counters and stovetop when I'm cooking, so making my own cleaner is really budget friendly for me, and I really like knowing what's in my cleaners. I originally got these pink scrubbing gloves as a joke for my son. He was doing the dishes every night after dinner, but he said that he really liked them and it made doing the dishes a lot quicker. So we've all been using them ever since. I like them because they protect my hands, of course, from the hot water and they keep my sleeves and jewelry dry while I do dishes throughout the day. And he was right. It does make doing the dishes a lot faster. I use a lot of cookbooks throughout the week while I am making dinners for the family, and I had been looking for a cookbook stand for a while that was large enough to hold a book open but didn't take up a lot of space on my counter. And I found this mud pie beaded cookbook holder, and I really think it's perfect. It is very low profile, so it doesn't take up a lot of space. It can hold several books at once, and I just think that it's really beautiful, and it goes with my farmhousey type style kitchen. I wanted to share two of my favorite cookbooks with you. Now this first one is Small Batch Baking by Sora Klein. This cookbook is really awesome, especially in the summer. You know, because of the humidity, baked goods really don't last for very long. And a small batch of cookies sometimes is all that you want. I'm gonna be sharing some recipes from this cookbook in some upcoming videos, but until then, I really highly recommend it, especially if you have, you know, a small family or it's just the two of you and small time baking is what you're looking for. This next cookbook should be no surprise if you guys have been following me for a little while. This is the big cookbook of slow cooker dinners by the Crock-Pot Ladies. I have shared a bunch of recipes from this book over the last couple of weeks and they've all been so good. I first discovered the Crock-Pot Ladies online. They have a website that has a ton of additional recipes. What I like the most about this book is that it also includes dessert crock pot recipes, which you can't always find. I have a really great set of stainless steel pans that my mom gave me, you know, back when I got married a thousand years ago, but I've been slowly adding new pans to my collection. I really like the stainless Cuisinart Chef's Classic pans, and I have about three new ones. One of my favorites is this large 12 inch domed pan. I love this pan because the base allows for a continuous cooking temperature and it's so pretty that you can even serve from it if you wanted to. I love these large pans, especially for heating up leftovers, you know, for lunch or dinner. 
it's large enough that you can separate the different portions of the meal so that you can heat them all up together in just one pan. I love these knives from Good Cooks. They are really inexpensive, they're non-stick, and they are the perfect proportion for my smaller hand. I have a lot of difficulty with those really large butcher knives and I just don't feel confident with them, so for me, these are the safest option. These knives come in several different sizes and colors. I have a bunch of the chef knives. I also have the paring knives. I love that they come with a sleeve that goes over the blade should you ever need to take it with you. I get asked about this prep work chop turner all the time. I bought this thing years ago and I still use it about three or four times a week. There are many different types of these out there, but this is the one that works best for me because not only does it break up your ground meat, but it also helps you flip it over to be sure that everything cooks evenly. It really speeds up the whole process when you're making you know, big quantities of chili or tomato sauce, anything where you are browning ground meat. It seems that I am always trying to improve storage and organization somewhere in my home, but by far the best tool for organizing food supplies in my kitchen has always been mason jars. I use them to store all kinds of dry goods like rice and popcorn, breadcrumbs, chocolate chips. I also store all of my dried spices in smaller jars with shaker lids. I have quite the supply of different spices in my cabinet. Because they can be so expensive, I like to buy them in bulk from Costco and empty them into smaller jars. It saves me a lot of space in my cabinet. The spice shaker lids are awesome because they fit all different size jars and it's so easy to open and close them with one hand. It can be difficult during you know different times of the year to find mason jars out in the community, but I always seem to be able to find them on Amazon and they have so many different lid types to choose from. We always like to have cut up fruit and vegetables in our refrigerator and sometimes I like to make a yogurt dip or a veggie dip to go with it. I found the best container for this on Amazon. It's the Rubbermaid Party Platter. The oval shape works really well in the refrigerator because it doesn't take up too much space. And I like the clear cover too because I think you're more apt to eat what you see. I have a couple of these platters. I also use them for like taco night or brownie sundaes. These platters really work great for parties too. I have filled the lid with ice and set the tray on top and they're perfect to take with you to like a potluck or family gathering. You guys know how much I love my crock pots and I know that there are a lot of different styles and makers out there, but I have always used crock pot brand slow cookers. I think that they are the best quality for the money. I have tried other brands before and it seems that the outside of the machines get really hot. And if you have little ones around, I think that it can be dangerous for them, but I have never had that problem with these crock pots. I have two of them up on my shelf. I use them all the time. I I have also been using the Reynolds Crock-Pot liners a lot recently. They really do make cleanup so much easier. I like to use them in recipes that have a lot of liquid or are overly messy. You know, making friends with my Crock-Pot over the years has been such a help. I have four kids going in four different directions and there were many nights that without my little Crock-Pot we wouldn't have had dinner. So I just purchased a new stove and I have a new refrigerator on order and my friends at the appliance store told me about this simple green stainless steel cleaner. They said that is the only one that they will use. They use it every night to wipe down all the appliances in the store and it works great without leaving streaks or smears. Now I couldn't find it locally but I was able to get it from Amazon and they were absolutely right. This stuff works great. It's the first cleaner that I have tried that I didn't have to go over again and again to get it streak free. And I've even used it on some of the stainless steel fixtures around the house. So that is 15 of my Amazon kitchen favorites. If you've enjoyed this video and would like to see more like it, please leave me a comment on down below. I'd love to share with you some of my clothing and beauty favorites over the last several months. 
Thank you so much for watching today. I hope you'll join our communities over on Facebook and Instagram at My Bashful Life. Please don't forget to subscribe. I'd love to have you all back as part of our YouTube family. So until I see you in that next video, I hope that you love the life that you have. Be kind to each other, stay safe, and I'll see you again soon. Bye.